a sparkle in your eye, forever young. Every moment this is life, take it as it comes. Jump up and reach for the stars, having no regrets, forever and ever, always young, forever young. What we should do, take on have, you, uh, have you been here before? Never. Never been to Tamar? Never. Oh, I mean, it's, look at it. The, uh, you know, the, this is the convent that you can visit tomorrow if you want to. Ben, I think Ben's done a great job. I think there's so much been going on at the ground, so sort of our sport. No. That's, that's the convent up there. That's Nosferatu business, isn't it? Bears, no? Used to be. Not <laughs> anymore. Not anymore. But don't tell your son that. <laughs> <laughs> they have converted! <laughs> yes. And this is the, um, the tuk tuk people I would take the tuk tuk. That's a good idea, no? A new vehicle. Hey. We should, yeah, Pedro, Pedro driving it. Excellent, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do you know Tamar? No. I've really? never been into Wario. Never? No. Wow. I just passed by. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one man. It's okay, tomorrow. isn't it? Went Tamar. <laughs> went Tamar. <laughs> I don't know, you don't sing that in Portuguese infant school, do you? One man went to Mar, no, went to Mar. No, no. Okay, yeah, that's why Tamara is very famous. He'll send yeah, you the yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> it's my... I first came to Tamar about six years ago to the day, and I've just realised I have a Kaneka in my hand. I think it's the influence of Bobby O'Reilly. But I've only ever drunk Imperials in, in um, Portugal, and this is my first Kaneka ever in 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 portugal so yeah i i think it's probably because i am associated with like the english blokes in portugal having no pint and so this will be my first one cheers so how's i not drinking good good i don't drink when i sleep seriously <laughs> cheers <laughs> Right, let me do some research on the Friday the 13th thing. Yeah. Because my, my view, my romantic view of the Templars is that they were like the Knights of the Round Table, an honourable knights with a religion, no? Where do you, when do you get the time to study? King, your... King Solomon. Right, cutting, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, ruling by the sword. Exactly, yeah. all Christian, uh, well, a lot of religions were like, Muslim religion, as a lot of people think, it's thousands and thousands of years old, only about 850 years old. Right. So, the Templars and the Crusaders, exactly, were out to defend the Christian religion, but how they dealt with it, if you didn't work in a Christian, you were dispatched out of the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with that, you know, that ben, part of it, yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. the Templars you've got in the same... Yeah, yeah, well, to what, no, straight with you, I, I wasn't around back then, so I don't know. The not, e story. not even in a past life, <laughs> right? But but uh, from what I gather, it's it's, it's more and more the same because obviously your history is uh, written in the, the hands of the victors, yeah, and they sort of get to tell their own story. Yes. So, but I think a lot of people romanticise this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, fair um, enough. There's probably a lot of openness becomes it, but in, fa in saying that as well. You can't judge people from 200 years ago as we as are we today. are now. Yeah, yeah. It's like sure. what our friend said the other day. Yes, yes, yes. Jeremy Black. Exactly. Yeah, 100 yeah, years yeah. from now, or even 50 years from now, people thinking that we're all cretins for eating animals. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a normal thing of the day. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Are you actually chewing there? Are you looking at the We live here. We live here. Yeah, we're filming about our love. Whoa, we're filming about our love. <laughs>
We should, we should have a drink each. <laughs> no, don't drink and drive. And can you tell us a little bit about uh, the Templar history? What, why, everywhere you go in Tamar, you're seeing the Templar Lost. insignia. Right, yes, of course. What is what is the, what is the story? This was the Kirtle, uh, the main uh, the main place of the Templars in Portugal, mm -hmm. and then the Order of Christ. Yes. Okay, it was something that our king in 1319 uh, he created a new order because it was the persecution of the Vatican to the Templars, and they were uh, protected in uh, in ah, Portugal. So our here. king, yeah. Some of the so, some of them in France after 1307, a Friday 13. It was yesterday, and yes. it was a Friday 13 also okay. of October. So we were told it was a myth. It was we got it fact checked. No, it's not. It it was because of the persecution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, and also our Templar master that you saw at the main square. Well, he died in uh, yes, he died in uh, in a uh, 13 of October, but uh, in um, in uh, the end of uh, 12th century, in, in uh, 1195. Right. And uh, we celebrate this also. And. Um, well, it was something that our king, to create a new order, uh, the Order of Christ, now you see a, a different uh, cross, more straight. Yeah. Um, um, it just switched the logo and the brand. But uh, in Portugal, it's the circle one. It's a sacred geometry, we call it five circles. Yes. And this is a, it's just quite different from all the other crosses in, yeah. a, in, a, in Europe yeah. and other places. So. Because it's not just about being the what spiritual warlords, the spiritual part is important as well, isn't it? It's, in in it's, Tamar. It's really, it's really yeah. important. Um, there is one writer, really famous uh, uh, Italian, Umberto Eco. Yeah. And he was in Tamar in the 80s and everything. And he say that uh, Tamar is the umbilico del mundo. The belly, belly the button of the world. Yeah, so you can imagine how important. And from the, the from the Mary Matrix is born. Uh, this, yeah, everything yeah, well, because well. of the that persecution of the um, the, the Vatican to the Templars when we yes. when our King Dodini start the Order of Christ, he move all the order to the to the Algarve, to Castro de Marin, and he and the order was there for forty years. Then I think everything was forgot, and then the order returns here to oh. their spiritual home. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Exactly. So amazing. Incredible. Well, and then six you. centuries to build all of these. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 we have really no idea, amazing. do we? Yeah. You know what the no price for square meter is? Uh, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's almost uh, <laughs> the total of the area. It's uh, around 45 uh, hectares. Hectares? So the same as 45 uh, so in football terms, fields. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just the garden, it's uh, 39. So the rest of the, uh, 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 this heritage. Thank Excellent. you so much. Thank you so much. Great Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. What the Templars drink? What's your uh, what's your, what's your poison? We would rather fond of mead. I'm not sure if they'll have mead. I'm sure you have not the mead. Oh. You're going to have to talk to the mace of cold justice. I don't want to have to talk to the mace of cold justice. <laughs> I'm afraid the sword of truth is dinging in me, so I'll have to put it yes. on the table. Yeah, I hate it. You don't, you don't want him starting with that. Do you but not we, think? Do you not think when I put this, I actually look like an artillery shell? <laughs> it's true, sir. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of, yeah. <laughs> All right, 16 so, years ago. 16 Coming years. to Portugal. What, what brought you here in the first place? Um, On pilgrims. The oh, look at this. Oh, of comely wench bringing me ale. Comely wench. Oh, what a guy. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no pilgrims. You were pilgrims? No, we, we're, we're here to protect pilgrims. Right. This is our sole purpose. I, I wanted I, a challenge. Mm. Uh, something really different. I set myself this, this goal many, many years ago that when I reached 55, I was going to move somewhere, do something radically different. Oh. Well, now, that, that was many, many years ago you reached 55? No, many, no, many no. years ago no. when you reached 55? Um, <laughs> we're, we're talking nearly five years ago now, just to put the, the story clear. But a long time before that, probably, you know, that 40 years? Yeah. You want to do something with yeah, your life? Yeah, yeah. That's a decision. And it gets a bit itchy. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that midlife thing. Yeah. It gets a wanna... bit itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, decided to, to, to go to Portugal. Logical, because I had a family here. But the coast thing was not for me. Um, when it's tourists? Uh, it's just not my, not my vibe. It's not different enough for me. Yeah. Sometimes I think in the tourist areas, 
it's too easy because the English speakers being yeah. there. Yeah. I want you to go somewhere it would really force me to well, sort of emerge into the culture. It's different. Well, yeah. it's an important distinction for people thinking about moving to Portugal, whether to be on on the coast or, or, or inland. And it's you know you get the same Portuguese spirit and soul, don't you? But very different climate. Very different. So tell us a bit more about that climate. What have you been? What's it been like this year? For it's been, is this the comedy bit? No, this is the series. The series. Yeah. This is. I'm saying it's not really. No. no. We'll it, it, the, 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 the land is very agricultural. It's mainly olives, uh, vineyards, vegetables, that sort of stuff. But in the summertime, it does get very, Fruit, very hot. So apples, the, fruit, apples, pears, pears, yeah. Pears. It does get very warm. Very uh, warm. If you like heat, English, if, grapes. if you like heat, I mean, you, you actually came, visited when it was sort of hot. Yeah. And you were wilting yeah, by well, the minute. It was noticeably different how hot it is in the interior compared to where there's a sea breeze or, yeah. you know, where I live. So you've got to tell your lifestyle a little bit more thoughtful and you're not going to run around or play tennis or you know, in that sort of heat. You're going to be sleeping in the afternoon. You're going to be having a, a nice little drink by the pool in the afternoon yeah. taking it easy. You're going to be doing your jobs in the morning. Yeah. Maybe in the later afternoon, evening time. You, you, you adjust, you adjust yeah. to a whole different lifestyle. And it, for me, it's, it's lovely, you know, to have the CS at the time, it's, it's wonderful. Excellent. Now you, Terrence, yes are an artist here in Portugal. I am, yes, that's you, true. Among other you, things. Yeah, sure, you're a Renaissance man, as, as well, you are known. Well, I also do ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very happy. <laughs> Tell us about your artists' uh, work. My here. artists? Ah, well, as a message to artists looking for a place to come to uh, develop. Don't. Um, especially... That's right, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's great because there's a lot of uh, locations, there's a lot of beauty, there's a lot of architecture, the environment is, is ever-changing. Mm -hmm. You can go to the mountains, um, you can, on the beaches, it's a, don't laugh, but it's a little like a fair amount like California. Yeah. Now I've been in California, you know, quite a few times and I can see the similarity. In terms of light quality and... Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, except you're not going to get shot. Well, that's, that's so Which really is encouraging. Run through with a steel, oh, maybe, or bash with a mace, but you're not going to. Yeah, just this to be a morning thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the security is a great feature here. It's a very safe country. Yeah. You know, so uh, it's a great uh, place to bring your kids, especially if they're growing up. You know, like your kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a great age mm. to be a kid here in yeah. Portugal mm. because. You know, it's uh, the family structure's still here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've got their own security system, which is basically an old woman looking out of a window and do any informing, you know. Uh, yeah, it's the two eyes or four eyes or whatever. They're, and you get to hear about it. I mean, the culture is, 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 is fabulous because the breadth and depth of culture, you know. And I think also what's lovely is the, the Portuguese have a sense of nationality. Yeah. You know, they are Portuguese first and foremost and yeah. proud yes um and so they get behind their teams and um they support there's a, there's yeah. a depth here you know there's a cultural and emotional depth yeah. which people will find very attractive and it's compulsive really but you don't realize it the longer you're here the more it imbues you um from all sorts of directions and um it's it's captivating. So we've heard this um, from one of our correspondents in the north. Don't try and change Portugal. Portugal will change you. Portugal will change Would you. you agree with in, that? In a gentle yeah. way. Yeah, that's yeah. that's quite intelligent yeah. thing yeah. to say. Yeah. Um, so you just got to let, let give it a little bit of time to wash over you and absorb it. I, I mean, it's great if you come for two weeks, but you know what it's like. You, you're on a two-week property visit, and it's bash, 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 bash. If you can afford the time, come over a little few times or longer periods and just get the vibe, get the, um, you know, the ambiance. Yeah. I don't think the French have a word for that. Or <laughs> <laughs> entrepreneur. Yeah. You don't have to say yeah. yeah. word either, yeah. Um, we've, got, we've got something to sort out, I think. Um, yeah. I, I take some responsibility for uh, re It's about time you did. It is. Take responsibility, yeah. well, just generally. It's time but you grew up in there's there's expose. There's, there's a particular thing here that I want to talk to you about and apologise for in a way. You're from Al Viazara, which I renamed Al Viagra on the spur of the moment. 
And how has that been? I mean, that's just what some people call it now, isn't it? El Viagra. Um, only the uninitiated. Right. Uh, but now it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Bit, yeah. like a bit of fun, yeah. a bit of a laugh, yeah. you know. Um, and the Portuguese, I think, like a bit of that kind of, of course they do, naughty yeah. humour as well, yes, don't they? Really. I mean, I, it's, I've only learned really how naughty the Portuguese humour actually is. Yeah. Tell us about that then, what are your experiences of that? Yeah. Well, I mean, when you hear the songs that they sing. And the, and uh, the phallus shaped. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's like the. It's all the, about the. Yeah, and the, the, the baby goes on. on every, yeah, yeah. Zizé, isn't it, with yeah. the, the arm, and, and everybody's got one of these statues in, yeah. in, 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 in their room. Uh, and, and in many ways, that's like going back a few decades, isn't it, to a, a more innocent, playful approach to yeah. sexuality, sex. Um, Is there a doubt? Fertility. Yeah. Oh, fertility. Yeah, yeah. Fertility. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's like comedy was 30 years ago, you know? Right. Benny Hill. Uh, a little bit of Benny yeah. Hill. Everybody remembers yeah, yeah. Benny Hill. And, you know, the visual comedy works. If you want to get on with Portuguese people and you're having a problem with the language, use gesture, use the shrug of the shoulders, use the smile, mm -hmm. um, and they understand it. And what you've got to remember is that when you're talking Portuguese, you will try your hardest and they'll forgive you mm -hmm. and then they will speak English back to you. But if you have to keep trying Portuguese, so you have these parallel conversations in um, every day, but you learn more. So yeah. for instance, you go down the, the fruit market and I had an instance, the guy the other day that he was there and obviously he thought I was new to the country. So he was going, Masa, which are apples, perish, pera, right? And I got a complete lesson in fruit in the first five minutes of just walking in. Yeah. But I, I, I stuck it out, you know, and, and I didn't really want to say, you know, I, I, I know this, yeah. yeah, so you have to just roll with the punches and take time. Go with the Portuguese flow, as it were. Go with the flow. Well, we are yeah. dominated, rather, to, talking to our Brummie friends here. Have you got any questions no. for him? Actually, because you know, it all sort of resonates with me exactly this. Um, with regards to sort of, when I moved to Portugal, I had the sort of, I was trying to move faster than everything else moved here, but I discovered that um, you have to go at a slower pace because you're not going to get any further. You're yeah. just going to get stopped down the road. So again, you just have to emerge yourself into the pace that you're living in and um, sort of accept it for what it is. But it is, I have to say, for me, it's been a good thing in the sense that it slowed me down when I probably needed to slow down. And, um, this is my first time in Tomar and I've been here 11 years mm -hmm. and I've, I've been... Uh, Working in Portugal nearly so, 25 years. What, what do you feel being here, your first time here, how has it affected you? No, I think it's, it's very nice. I think it actually has um, a nice feel to it, really. I actually like it. And I like its slowness as well and its pitch. Yeah. And it's also not trying to be anything that it's not. Yeah, you know what I mean? Assuming, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of genuine. Yeah. So how does it differ from Lisbon? Well, from the price wise, the burger nine euros last night it was absolutely gorgeous. And um, compared to Lisbon, I know it's a little bit different, but yeah. I suppose for me in Lisbon, it has a lot more. You've got everything there. Yeah. You have everything there. But also, you have the cost of living there. Yes. The cost is a lot higher than if they regard us, even if you're in the exterior or whatever, it still costs a lot more to live in and around the, the Lisbon area. Sure. For me, I suppose it is a lot easier because mainly the people I deal with speak English and so on mm -hmm. and uh, but for me we were discovering since we moved to Portugal we've been discovering Portugal so we've gone to Chaves, we've gone to Porto we've gone to all the other places if you like that around and we're still discovering it and it's we, we're still amazed by how different each area is to each other if you know what I mean. So what you're saying it's a kind of multi-level thing that yeah you know you may come to Lisbon you may even buy in Lisbon you may come to the old Garv, but then the country grows on you and you want to discover more and you may go and tour around the country and then you start to look and say, I wonder what that place would be like to live in. <laughs> Brother Gary here, in, in your middle aged, I, I wouldn't say it's a crisis necessarily, but you're soul searching in middle age. You decided that by 55, you'd want to live somewhere else in the world and you chose Portugal to do that. You had a bit of a head start with your older brother yeah. leading the way. Has it, I'm younger. Three months, yes. How has it been for you? To, to, been has, has it been the right choice for it's, you? It's been a revelation. I mean, where I've moved uh, has kind of fulfilled more than that need of challenge. It's, it's, it's developed part of me that's it's been wanting for such a long time, you know, the spiritual part of me. Oh, okay. I mean, I can walk out into 
oak forest within a few minutes from where I live. It's a yeah. you know beautiful seclusion. I uh, can be bathed in warm sunlight. And this area where we are now is bathed in so much history, yeah. culture, right. religion, spirituality. Yeah. If you look at the, the, the Templar symbols, it's all there, you know, the, the cross, yeah. the, the circle, the pentagon, it's all contained within that sort of fabulous history. And it's special, it is a special region. It's, it, it seeps into the areas around it, and you can almost feel it. Yes. Uh, and you can kind of draw from that, and it's beautiful. So you kind of birthed your spiritual side. Absolutely. Amazing. Did you expect Absolutely. that, your the, brother? For him to birth his spiritual side. Yeah. Well, you, did you see well, that, that coming? that would be a sight and a half. <laughs> um, but no, he's always been very spiritual. Right. I've always been a bit more, I, I don't want to say dynamic. <laughs> Practically. <laughs> yeah. Because that's unkind, isn't it? I don't want to say better, but... <laughs> No, I've always wanted, you know, I, I still work here. I, yeah. got to, I, I love working. I'm, I'm never, ever... Well, that's an it. interesting point. We've not, you know, I've you've retired. Talking. You're still working, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're finding it an appropriate backdrop for that? Of course, because you've got time, um, you, your pace of life, your costs are less. Yeah. So there's less pressure, so you can get the thing right. Mm -hmm. If you're developing something, an idea, a service, a product, you have time here because your costs are less. So... Um, you know, your accommodation, your food, your transport, um, which all helps when, if you're trying to prepare something for the future, yeah. to get a footing to, to kind of move on. Which clearly you've done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I'm looking up at that, and I'm looking at, you know... He's a fine understanding gentleman, that's what it is. He's a fine understanding gentleman. Is it a phallus? Are we talking about a phallus? Is that the, um... Are we? Is it a phallus? Or is it... It's a column. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. I'm just confused. I'm confused of Birmingham. It's very nice. It's very nice. Very nice, yeah. very nice statue, mm. yes. Beautiful. Um, but I, I hate him because he's got better gear than me. Yeah, he's got a big shield as well. He's we got a big got shield, one, but he hasn't got... I feel a bit vulnerable now. The cold mace of justice. And if he had that, then he'd have something. 